Heaven's California Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video and today the official countdown to FIFA 19 has begun. We're here with the top 100 player ratings and we're also going to be having a look at the brand new icons that were added to the database in the game yesterday for us to enjoy. Didn't really gamble too much of icons last year but we'll see what we can do this year with them. But today, we have got 100 to 81, and we're starting with, at number 100, Costas Manalas. We're starting now, which means the top 100 players in the game. Last year, the top 100 players in the game were 84 rated. Starts at 84. This year, they're starting at 85, which is fantastic. Um, but it's Manalas. They say, one of the quickest central defenders in the game. The big Greek is a cornerstone in the defense of Roma's de defense. Uh, whether he's tasked to mark a more tricky forward or play deeper and clean up after his teammates, Manalas is dependable and the well-respected player in the prime of his career. And he is in the prime of his career. And um, I think he's going to be fantastic in FIFA. You know, his card looks very, very good. Um, yeah, nothing really much more we can say about that. And at 99, we have Mr. Riyad Mahrez, obviously now at Manchester City. The Algerian international exploded onto the football stage after playing a key role in Leicester City's miraculous run to the English Premier League title in 2016. The winger has only improved since then, making a bold move to join the reigning champions ahead of this season. His 85 pace and 90 dribbling means that he's an extremely dangerous and unpredictable on the right-hand side of any attack. For me, I think I would probably use Riyad Mahrez maybe as a right mid because of that medium medium and because his shooting is pretty low i mean i think his shooting should be higher than that but whatever number 98 is zlatan ibrahimovic look at the poor pace the pace man the pace zlatan boy um anyway it says there's a little that can be said about the enigmatic swede that has not said anything about that hasn't even said about himself but even in the latter stages of his career, many would agree that Ibrahimovic is one of the most dangerous, pure strikers. While, LA Galaxy, while the LA Galaxy man is a solid passer and dribbler, his finishing is still as world-class as ever, as evidenced by his 70, no, his 86 shooting rating. Ibrahimovic man, he's a tank. 85, oh, the Sterling's at 85. You know what? I'm still undecided what team we're actually going to be looking at building for the start of FIFA because do I want to go straight to that Premier League do I want to maybe you know the Serie A normally is something that I'd lean towards but maybe that's going to be a bit more expensive maybe the La Liga could be good or possibly even the Bundesliga maybe if the league on I don't know but um as an Englishman I always seem to just go yeah I'll just put together a Premier League but you know a guy like Sterling here is going to be worth 50 60 70,000 coins at the start of FIFA man but um English winger Raheem Sterling is rightly praised for his blistering speed, 93 pace, and his but his 87 dribbling, dribbling ability means that his technique and ball control are almost as impressive. Sterling played a big part in Manchester City's title run last season, and he improved quite a bit in the process, as evidenced by his stellar ratings. And his passing isn't great, but I definitely use him as a winger. Maybe I'm upgrade. The shooting and passing, you're looking at a pretty good right wing there. But uh, in at 80, 96, sorry, we've got Blaise Matuidi, a fierce central midfielder, not only impressed with Juventus last season, he also played a crucial role, role for France in their incredible 2018 FIFA World Cup run. Matuidi excels in a deeper holding role, able to clean up in front of his defence and win the ball back. Hence the 83 defending, with his tireless engine and intimidating physique, 83 physical rating. Matuidi's card looks very well-rounded. Only really the shooting that isn't in the 70s looks like a beast. In at number 95, we have Marco Asensio. Now a left winger, but only got the 81 pace. So where are people... Are people going to want to use Marco Asensio? Maybe they're just going to use him and play him as a cam, as they usually would. But even though the tricky Spanish winger Asensio doesn't top the charts in any one category, he's above average in 
several areas. His 81 pace gives him respectable speed for running down the wing. While his 83 passing also lets him create chances from the outside areas, Asensio's shooting rating of 84 makes him extremely goal dangerous while cutting inside, an ability that he also excels at thanks to his 85 dribbling. Asensio, decent card, might pick him up at some point. But in at number 94, we have Saeh Milinkovic Savic. Even though Serbia didn't make it out of the group stage at the 2018 World Cup, Milinkovic Savic turned heads around the world with his impressive performances for the midfield in his country. Not only was this news to Lazio fans, who have seen this quality for a few seasons now, this Serb midfielder can play just about anywhere in the midfield, utilising his 80 passing, 82 dribbling and 84 physical ratings to great effect in both attack and defence. Milinkovic Savic, not the fastest, but as a good holding midfielder, just a stanchial midfielder, I think he'd do pretty well, maybe with a high medium, 6 foot 3, very nice. In at number 93, we have Osua Kimic. His card defensively isn't great, but I've always liked Kimic. I loved him in the World Cup mode, and they've got to say that the young German right back has burst onto the scene for both club and country in recent seasons, and for a good reason. With 82 dribbling and 83 passing ratings, Kimmich has the composure and technique to be the paragon of a math modern attacking fullback and a 77 defending rating that will keep his back line safe as well. Kimmich, love Kimmich man, he's a great card. Hopefully we'll get to use him one to tie a uh, one stage in FIFA. But in at 92 we have Edin Zieko, the traditional striker reign supreme in the Italian capital taking advantage of his size and pure finishing ability to dominate the scoring charts in the Serie A. The all-time leading goal scorer for Bosnia and Herzegovina, Dzeko uses impressive 85, 85 shooting rating to do one thing, score goals. And that is what Dzeko is going to score goals. You put him up top, stick him as target man, you play him with some wingers and you just cross that ball in. He's going to jump up and nod it in. But in at number 80, uh, 91, we see Atletico Madrid. It's going to be a coke who's a left midfield. Are they serious? Do they think anyone's going to use coke in left mid? He's going to be one of the most under like underused cards at left mid because nobody's going to use him there. But they have to say, a complete midfielder in the mould of his countryman, Xavi. The Spaniard pulls the strings from the middle of the pitch for both club and country. His stellar 88 passing rating gives him the tools he needs to create just about anything. From three balls to one, two passes to crosses. Space is never at a premium on the pitch for Koke either. As he twists and turns away through the opposition using his 82 dribbling. But he's a left mid and I, I just don't... See him getting used that often, to be honest. But uh, in at number 90, we have the German Marco Royce. Looks like a very solid card again. The German international has one of the most comprehensive skill sets in Europe. He's dangerous anywhere in the attack, and though he absolutely thrives on the left flank. With While very quick pace, 85, his technique on the ball is even better at 86 dribbling. Ensuring that he doesn't lose the ball in the middle of one of his flying runs up the flank. Royce looks very, very good again. Nothing really much more to say about that. In at number 89, we have David Luiz, 85 rated still. Looks very solid as a left back. Maybe stick uh, something to up his pace a little bit. Although I don't think chemistry styles are a thing now, are they, in the team? So you won't even be able to do that. But uh, the ideal left back that needs a balanced combination of defence and attack. Tilting towards one of the other, one or the other when his team needs it. Experienced Brazilian left fullback, uh, Luis has the perfect mix, highlighted by an 81 defending rating and an uh, a 79 dribbling rating, easily allowing him to switch gears at the drop of a hat. Yep, Luis looks very decent. Nothing more to say about that. In at number 88, we have Mr. Vincent Company, who is not going to be used for one thing. It's going to be that. Pace, 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 pace.
pace. Manchester City's captain is a true leader at the back, able to marshal his troops with the same efficiency that he dispossesses opponents and snuffs out attacks. The hearty Belgian's 85 defending rating is world class on its own, but he backs it up with an imposing 81 physical rating. That means he can come out on top in just about any challenge company. Defensively great, not so great with the pace, and seeing as you can't up that because I don't think chemistry styles are a thing, it's just going to be screwed. Um, in at number 87 then, we have Mr. Ian Robben. Um, consistently rated as one of the top wingers in the world for a while now, the Dutchman continues to have some of the best technique and movement out there. His signature style, cutting inside from the right wing to shoot with his left foot, is now commonplace. But he remains the master. His 88 dribbling ability is just jaw dropping as ever, and his finishing 85 shooting forces goalkeepers all over Europe to pick up the ball out or out of the net on a regular basis. Everything looks good apart from the pace, and because you can't up the pace, I just don't get. I just don't see Robin getting used that often. Only with a, a two-star weak foot, so he's not going to be that good at crossing balls in. Only if he cups back, you know, the four-star skill moves is great and all. But, um, yeah, nothing too much more to say about that. 86, then, we have Alisson, um, the new Liverpool goalkeeper. The Brazilian stop shotter, or shot stopper was brought to the Merseyside club this summer to improve their defence with the goal of taking a repeat trip to the Champions League final. He excels in many of the top rate goalkeeping traits, but his 88 reflexes and 85 kicking are the highlights that made him so highly valued this summer. Okay, I don't I don't like how they're saying this. They're saying it like the stats on these cards are like increase their market value in real life. No, 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 no. This is a game. This is a game, man. Come on. Uh, in at number 85, then we have David Alaba and his card again. Looks as good as it always does. Why is my mouse just died on me? There we go. Um, another complete and balanced left back with the Austrian uh, can defend with the best 81 defending. But he is also a valuable weapon in his team's attacking arsenal. He often flies up the wing, shrugging off his counterparts with his 82 rated pace. And helps create the teammates with his 80 passing and dribbling ratings. He looks insane, man. David Alaba, great card again. In at number 84, we have another Merseyside player, Fabinho. Another valuable defensive addition by Liverpool this summer. Brazilian midfielder Fabinho's ratings show exactly why the Premier League giants wanted him. His equally strong defending and physical ratings, both 84, make him the perfect candidate for sweeping away attacks in front of the back line and bullying opponents off the ball without even breaking a sweat. His card looks absolutely insane, very similar to Matic. Would be very interesting to try him. 83rd is Arturo Vidal, and can we just appreciate this? What is this? What is his pace? I know Vidal has hit 31. Okay, and every EA card seems to, the pace seems to go down. And every A card, once they hit 31, apart from Ronaldo, because Ronaldo is the golden boy. And, uh, I mean, has he, like, lost a leg or something? You know, has he lost a leg? Because now that means that Arturo Di Vidal isn't going to be a great pick. And what do they have to say about him? Already having played for some of the biggest clubs in the world, Chilean midfielder Vidal joined yet another top club when he moved to Barcelona last summer. While chiefly a defensive midfielder, thanks to his 84 defending and 83 ratings, uh, physical ratings, Vidal is also extremely dangerous going forward. When the opposition least expects it, he rips a shot into the top corner, 80 shooting, and creates attacks from the midfield, 79 passing, seconds after recovering the ball. I think that's a bit of a... I think Vidal has been mugged off with that card, personally. But um, 82nd then, we have Mr. Virgil van Dijk, who looks just fucking OP. 70 dribbling for a centre-back is insane. In only half a season with Liverpool, the large Dutch defender showed how important his skill set is to a team desperate to keep the ball out of their net. How, how old is van Dijk? He's, what, 20... 
he's getting on a bit, isn't he? He's not that young anymore. Um, Van Dijk, uh, an absolute giant at six foot four. Van Dijk uses his 84 physical rating to boost opponents around or to boss opponents around, collapsing any sense of personal space they had when they entered his domain. Combined with an excellent 85 defending rating, Van Dijk is also the archetypal modern defender and he's in the prime of his career. Very true. And in at 81, we have the man, the myth, the legend, Diego Flipping Costa, now 30 years old, making a move back to Atletico last January after a spell with Chelsea. The imposing Spanish striker has continued to show why defences all over Europe tremble at his name. His 83 shooting shows that he rarely misses when presented with a chance, with a choice, with a choice opportunity. But it is his 87 physical rating that makes him a unique to his position. And that is it. We got the Champions Edition, which I pre-ordered. However, I probably will need to chase them up on that because I think I've that was my one of my old cards. But um, yeah, we're gonna go on. I mean, let's go to news. I think here we go then. EA Sports FIFA. Let's see. They released so many legends yesterday, so we're just going to have a quick scroll down. If you're not following me on Twitter, then you're more than welcome to do so. My handle is... When this thing decides to load... If it's going to load... Here it is. Uh, David Goodin. Uh, and it's at Gooding for David. So, we'll scroll down. Uh, there's the player ratings, player ratings, player ratings, player ratings, player ratings, player ratings player rating. So eight hours ago they did announce Mr. Sebastian Veron. Uh, his cards look very, very decent. Um, his baby compared to his next one. I mean, at, at least you can see the difference between all three cards. Some of the um, icons you can't really. But uh, we had Veron. We had Nakata as well. Um, he obviously he was in the World Cup mode, not a super super high rated icon, only 88 rated at his prime, and his prime doesn't even look that great, but I'm sure people might pick him up. We also have Sol Campbell here as well, um, Campbell's card looks fantastic, even the baby one looks fantastic, but look at that one, the 1990-80, gonna make him a brick in that defence. We've also got the David Trezeguet. Um, great striker, look at this, his baby card actually, from for me, looks the most appealing, actually maybe not, his, what am I saying, this card looks a lot better, although this card doesn't look so bad either, but, you know, we have David Trezeguet as well, we have got Bobby Moore, Bobby Moore looks absolutely flipping ridiculous, man, uh, we have Gary Lineker, who looks very, very good. Um, yeah, not too much to say about that. Gary Lineker looks great. We got Fernando Hierro, who it looks like a very decent, very, very decent centre back. Uh, we got Bracey now as well. He looks like a fantastic centre back. You know, all these icons, man, look like fantastic cards. And we already had what? I think it was 24 icons. I think now they, I saw a tweet earlier that said we had 24 icons already and now we're going to have like 40 icons in the game. Times that by three, that's 120 icon cards. That's a lot of icons. Um, we got Miroslav Closer, whose card was, I think his card basically, like the older, the, what EA is saying is the older Closer got, the worst he got, because he looks younger here. Than he did there. This was like, I don't know, maybe low 2000s, like early 2000s. Then like mid 2000s to like late 2000s, and that's like early 2010s. I think I'd say that. I think that was his World Cup card, wasn't it? That on there. Uh, then we have Ruud van Nistelrooy. Uh, prime card looks very, very good. Uh, we have got the Czech Canon himself, Paolo Nedved, who's. Left mid card looks very, very tasty indeed. That left mid looks exceptional as a left mid. That card looks exceptional as well. As does that one. All three of them look fantastic. We've got the man, the myth, the legend himself. Roy freaking Keane. 
Uh, he looks fantastic. His baby card, not so great. Actually, no, his baby card looks decent as well. But uh, his 90 rated card looks fantastic. Obviously, a Manchester United legend, so a fan of myself, a fan of him myself. And we have Emilio Butragueno. Butch, Butra uh, his card, oh my god. Imagine coming up against that. 90, 90, 92. Yeah, you can fuck yourself there. Um, then, obviously, we got Rivaldo and Cruyff and Esbueno and Gerard and Lampard. We have Gianfranco Zola. I'm, I'm, I'm guessing all these ones are going to get, like, babies and stuff as well. We just haven't seen them yet. Uh, we have Gianfranco Zola as well. We have Paul Scholes, who looks fantastic in the mid. Maybe more as a CAM, possibly with a... I mean, it's uh, not so bad. Uh, we have Ryan Giggs, you know, left mid Giggs looks... That Giggs looks fantastic. Uh, that's the team of the week. We have El Pistero. Is it going to load? The Why is only half the picture loading? Come on, EA. Fix your website. It's coming. It's loading slowly. There we go. So we got Stoichkov, El Pistero. Um, his left wing card looks insane, as does his striker card. As does his baby card look very, very good. Uh, we have Yeri up at ST who looks very, very solid. We got Georgie Best, that boy George Best, who looks absolutely fantastic on that right wing. We got Jens Lehmann, a uh, fantastic goalkeeper. Uh, we've got Michael Balak, who looks like an insane CDM slash CM. Even you could put him at CAM, you could play him anywhere. Put him as defender if you really want. Uh, we got Luis Figo, who has a great CAM card. Two great right wing cards. That's very nice as well. We got Gattuso, who looks like a... I mean, mm, his card isn't great. I mean, granted, his baby card is basically as good as his other. The pace is the same, the shooting's one better, the passing is four better, dribbling's one better, one minus defending and one minus physical. Why waste the money getting the 89 when you can just get the 85? I don't know. And then the last but not least was uh, the, the, the Socrates, who was a player way, 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 way before my time. But uh, they are all the new icons then, guys. So we have the player ratings and icons in one video. Don't say... I don't treat you, but that is going to be the end of this one. If you did enjoy, remember to drop a like. If you're new around here, don't forget to subscribe for the latest FIFA 19 content and videos. FIFA 19 is fast, fast, fast approaching, and I cannot wait. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on those notifications. I have been David. This has been somewhat FIFA 19 news. Thank you for watching. Stay safe, stay awesome, stay happy, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Goodbye.